This is the video where I will explain the career pre presentation, go over the rubric, and show you an example. I will have a secondary video that talks about the hyperlinks um, and what those, how to do those, okay? So this is just about the rubric, just about your expectations for the project. If you are wanting the video on how to hyperlink between slides, then you need to go find that attachment on Google Classroom. No matter what semester you are uh, watching this in, you need to pay attention to the, to the due dates up here. This is obviously for a different semester if you are not in the spring 2020 or fall 2020 semester. Okay. Anyway, so the presentation itself, no different as far as the 20 points for presenting. That has not changed. Okay. Professional and confidence, engaging with the audience, clear voice with a good pace, and using slides appropriately. Bonus points for just going above and beyond and also in for dressing up. Okay. Going into the meat of the presentation. So the title slide, and this is 80 points, it's not 75. The title slide, you need to have the name of your career by your name and then hyperlinks. And I will explain at the end of this, I'm going to show you an example PowerPoint and explain what I mean by hyperlinks. So that's slide number one. Slide number two, you will describe the career, <coughs> excuse me, following the five by five rule. That means no more than five bullet points per slide, no more than five words per bullet point. Um, again, I'll have an example for you. Pictures need to be included, a picture that would associate with this slide, and then a link back to the home slide. Again, I'll show what that means in just a minute. Education, slide number three, education and training required. What kinds of education or training do you need to have to be successful in that job? It does not necessarily have to be a job that you have to attend college for. However, most jobs, if it's a job that you're going to move up in, requires some sort of a training program, certification, degree that you might need to have in order to be successful in that career. Okay. Possible job locations, slide number four. Top five cities and states where you would like to be located. And these are your top five cities and states. However, you need to pay attention. You know, if you want to be a marine biologist, living in Southwest Kansas probably isn't the best place to live to do that career. So make sure you can actually find jobs that would be in those areas, okay? When you are presenting this to the class, you're going to tell us why those are your top five. So why do you want to live in Garden City, Kansas, or Denver, Colorado, or California, or whatever? But it's important that you're including a city and a state. Don't, don't just say, I want to live in Colorado. Specifically, where in Colorado do you want to live? Slide number five is going to play off of our charts and tables that we made on the favorite band or sports team project. You are going to create a chart or a table that talks about the history of the salary of that job and also what the um, job is looking like in the future. I will show you a link where you're going to find all of this information. Slide number six is a video. You will use your iPad to record it. You are talking about why you chose that career. So um, it needs to be 30 to 60 seconds. You know, I chose to be a teacher because and explain why. Or I choose, I would like to be a um, truck driver because. I would like to be a dental hygienist because. So choose, restate your career and say why and your face needs to be shown in the video. Hyperlinks, 15 points. You had the point of this project is the hyperlinking. So you will not receive a grade on this project if you do not do the hyperlinks. Okay, and I'll explain what I mean by hyperlinks in just a minute. So here is an example and it's older, it's an older example, but let me present this. Okay, I believe this is what you're seeing. You're not, you're seeing the presenter's view and that's not a big deal. So my project, my name, my dream job, something along those lines. Each one of these pictures are a hyperlink to the slide that they are associated with. So I said slide number two is what is it? So if I click on that, it's going to take me to slide number two, where I'm explaining what 
is career and technical education. Then I have a link that returns me back to the title slide. Okay, education and training jumps to the slide about education and training. This button takes me back to the title slide. Salary. I have a slide where it talks about the average salary. So this is a chart that you guys make. This is, and I did the average salary for t Kansas teachers from 1969 to 2013 and kind of what it's trending at. Like I said, this is an older PowerPoint slide, so I would probably be able to go and add 2015, 16, 17 here at the end. Return to title slide. Where do I want to work? Five cities and states. And when I'm presenting, I would explain why do I want to work in these cities or states. Return back. Then my why slide. This is where you would have a video explaining um, your why. Okay? You need to edit out the parts of you starting and stopping the video. That's important. Nobody likes to see that. So make sure either use Screencast-O-Matic like I showed you before, because you can use that to record yourself and then it just would bring up a screen where you can start and stop it, or put it into iMovie. Okay, so I'm going to get out of that. So this was my example. Notice I have all of these links that go back to my title slide. Each one of these pictures is a um, direct link to one of the other slides. Okay, as I said, I will sh do a different video that shows how to do the hyperlinks. I just wanted to show you an example with information. Okay, um, coming back out here. So like I said, the hyperlinks required. You do not turn in the assignment unless you have those things done. Otherwise, it's like this is an all or nothing thing. This is the point of what I'm doing. This is why I'm, I don't, I'm making you do this PowerPoint. Um, I wanted to show you last, where will I find all of my information? If I go to www.bls.gov slash OOH slash, and I'll put this link attached on Classroom, I have this site from the Bureau of Labor Statistics called the Occupational Outlook Handbook, and it's literally you will find almost every career. So if you know the general um, topic or group, of what you want to be. You can search it through here. You can also search the handbook here. So if I go to education and training and I scroll down, I see career and technical education teachers. I can click on that. Okay. This will show me a brief summary of what I might find on these tabs, but look at this guys. Okay. Slide number two. What do they do? Hey, look, there's a tab called what do they do? Do not copy and paste these links or these this information it needs to be in your own words okay hey look I want one on how to become one I want to know what kind of education is required wow there's a bunch of information here I want to know their pay wow more information okay it's important that you look through some of this stuff it's going to give you a lot more information um, than you would expect, but you need to read through it. So what do they do? How to become one? Their pay? You could add things like their job outlook. So what this means is it's predicting in the future if there's an increase or decrease of necessary jobs, of, ne of people that need to be able to do that job. So percent change in employment projected for 2019 to 2029, all at education 5% increase that means we need five percent more teachers than what we have right now for cte only two percent um, you can look at state and area data so this is nice because you can go see in a specific state the job outlook or the salary so feel free to explore some of that stuff okay so if i click on kansas it's saying it employs 540 people um, average mean wage is 56,000 where you know I said I want to live in Colorado oh they get make 58,000 so that is just kind of a nice thing to see and you can see in other states where maybe I'd make less or more or there's more teachers or less teachers the big thing to remember like California if I go there 81,000 wow but what's the cost of living gas there is twice the amount it is in Kansas so just you need to keep that in mind as you're researching careers okay so this site will find, you'll find 99.9% .9 of the information that you need. 
If you cannot find what you want on here, you need to go somewhere else on the internet and look. The last piece that I did not explain is on each of these slides I have a link called source. So if I go to that link and I clicked on it in my PowerPoint, it would take me to the page where I found this information. I'm going to show all of this in a separate video. So instead of having a big, clunky, gross link, hyperlink, you know, copy and pasted like you did on the last project, I have the word source, and I just click on that word, and it takes me to where I need to go. Okay? I'm going to post this link to the Outlook handbook out on Classroom. I'm going to have a link to this presentation, and I'm going to have a link to how to hyperlink things. You won't have anything to print. Um, you shouldn't have anything special for turning in. You do need to use PowerPoint. Okay, You have to use PowerPoint for this project. Um, just because that's the only way I'm going to show it. If you figure out how to link things in Google Slides, good for you, but I'm only going to show it on, on PowerPoint. Okay, This is going to be due, so whatever day we are presenting, it is due before you come to class. So if it were me, I would make sure that I have shared this link so click share, copy link, share this link to classroom now, just in case I'm not in school the day that I need it. Okay? Now everything's freezing. So that is my cue to end this video. I hope you guys have a great day and be on the lookout for the video that explains how to hyperlink things.